YouTube, what's going on? I hope y'all are having a dope ass day. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video and time for a comment war! Down below in the comments what I want you to do is drop your answer. Who do you like more? Jesse Leach or Howard Jones? <laughs> Anyway, let's get it. Today we are going to be reacting to a song called Rose of Sharon by a band called Kill Switch Engage. Everybody and their dog knows this except for me, so let's motherfucking get it! Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. You could also try some crystal meth. Hell of a drug. Hell of a drug. I like this already. I really, really like this already. <laughs> Dope as hell, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> So obviously somebody that's very important to him died because uh, it keeps saying, you know, like, you never left me. Now he's here numb and broken. He stands alone. And then he goes on to say that one day we'll meet again. So I got to believe that it's like a girlfriend, maybe someone like a parent, a sister, someone. I'm sure. Let's just look that up real quick. So this is a song about his mom passing. Really makes more sense now that he says that she never left him. Obviously your mom will never leave you. Um, hopefully not. And uh, man, let's get it. Wow. Then you got that blood spilling, super powerful imagery, dude. Wow, I love that. 
One rose. Oh my gosh, rose symbolizing. Oh my god. Okay, that. I need to chill. <laughs> First and foremost, I need to chill. Okay, so this kind of ties into yesterday's reaction, how I was talking about that beautiful things can stem from tragic events. And I think that that, I have goosebumps right now, bro. These past couple days, these songs have been giving me goosebumps. Now, I think that this was an incredibly beautiful song. Now, first of all, I just want to reach out and say, I love you guys. Seriously, if you are going through something where you lost a parent, you lost a loved one, somebody you like, you love died, I am so sorry. And I know that doesn't even begin to skim the surface or a help at all. The only way that I can relate to that is I, I haven't lost my dad to death, but last time I saw my dad, I was in sixth grade. I'm now in law school and numerically I am in 19th grade. So, you know, that kind of puts it in perspective a little bit, but part of me thinks that uh, I'm, I'm lucky because my dad is still around, but part of me also think that that's kind of worse than death in a sense is that I could potentially see him, but I just haven't. So, you know, it's, it's interesting, but um, enough about me. I just want to come on here and tell you guys that it is okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to show your true feelings and your emotions. Um, if anybody, you know, has something to say about that, then they themselves are dealing with some deeply rooted self-doubt. Out that is just like projecting onto everybody else. So pay them no attention. I want to come on here and tell you guys that I am here for you guys. I have a ton of DMs, a ton of messages, but if you DM me with some issues, with some problems, with something just to vent about, I'm here to listen to you guys. And I really and truly mean that. But if I don't respond, please don't get upset. Just know that I have a ton of messages. But if I can, you know, touch one person out there, it means the world to me. So I, I want to say that this song is fantastic. Oh my God, dude. I can't imagine how like much of a crutch this song must be for some people how like it's such a beautiful song because it's so sad and tragic but it's uplifting at the end it's saying we I will see you again it's very uplifting very positive despite the negative connotations that come along with it but at the end of the day this song just makes me want to tell you guys that I'm here for you and I love you so much honestly I do anyway that's all I got for you guys today that's where you guys come in drop some comments down below let me know what you think about this song screw this video in general and I love you guys so much I know I said it a million times but a million and one I love you keep that in mind I'll see you guys tomorrow that's a motherfucking fact oh yeah Peace! I got guns in my head.